Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be doing a project that a lot of my students do when they first start playing with this and that's a name tag and we're going to start with the title. Always put a title on these things so here it is. I'm going to put a name tag. Very important because you're going to have to export this at one point and you need to make sure that the title matches what you're making. So first step I'm going to drag a box over here and I'm going to want to flatten this. Now, right now, when I click on the corner, 20 and 20 came up, but what does that mean? It's actually down here. These are actually measurements of, in millimeters. I know a lot of my students have no idea what 20 millimeters means, so I can edit this, the button right above, to instead of millimeters, and go inches. So I'll update this, and now this measuring in inches and I click on this again so it measures 0.787 of an inch I'm going to make that one inch and one inch down here so this is a one inch cube at this point. actually no not until I change that one now it's a one inch cube let's say I don't know about three inches for a name tag or it should be called a name plate let me rename this because a lot of my students think name tag means something else, so I'll just put name plate. Now, I don't want this to be a cube or a rectangular prism that's an inch thick. That would be way too much. So I'm going to go quarter of an inch, which is 0.25, and that, wow, that seems pretty thick. I'm going to change that to, that's about right. That still looks a little thick, but that's fine. Now, here's the beauty of it. The part that most people like is the ability to write their name on this. And there it is. Text. Text is my name. No, just kidding. I'm going to put Mr. A. Obviously, this is way too big. And let me put this right here. It's hard to see, so let me change the color. And by the way, even though I'm changing the color, it does not mean it's going to print a different color. This is just so you can see this better. Now, obviously, the letters are way too big, so I'm going to click and hold and hit shift so it keeps the ratio of the size Mr. A. Now if I were to print this obviously it's going to be one color but you see how tall that is? I would not want that to uh, stick out that far so I'm going to go to what that nah, still seems like a lot. You know what I'm seeing here? And this is a good topic. You see how it's going by a certain amount up and down? In fact, if I had to guess, I would say it's going up and down by a quarter of an inch to an eighth. It's a set amount, so I don't want that. Right here, we have something called snap grid. It's the very bottom right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that off, which now allows me to very smoothly adjust this to any height I want. Let me show you the half inch. So if I move this up, it's going to move by half an inch every time not something when I'm going to control Z to go back to where I where I was. I'm going to turn this off and I just wanted to stick out enough so that you can see it. Now right now it's not very centered so I'm going to click on it. With my arrows I'm going to move it up. It's going so slowly but it is actually moving. It's going slowly because it's off. If I were to change it to 1 64ths and I use the arrows now it's going faster. So it is very good for, for precise measurement, but if you want to move something, it's better just to click and drag it around where you want. Okay, so that's not bad right there. Okay, now I want a place to, to hook it. Like if I want to put this on my lanyard or backpack or something, I want to be able to hook it onto something. Obviously, this right here um, would be too big. While we're here, let's look at this. If you look closely, in fact, let's look closely. And let me hit this button so I can just focus on that right there. This is made up of a series of straight lines that you can barely see. In fact, this is the best line I think you can see. And that's based on uh, this right here. If I can move that all the way over, it now looks like a better circle. Now, I'm going to go back to where it was before, and you can see made up of straight lines, and the farther to the left I go, 
the more boxy it will look. So I like a smooth circle. I'm going to keep that there. Now I don't want it that big, so I'm going to click and drag. I'm going to hit the shift button, otherwise it might make an oval. I don't want an oval. The shift button lets me keep the dimensions. All right, now a common mistake. Hold on, let me select everything. And now that I have everything selected, I'm going to click on this button right here, which is going to help everything fit on the screen. There it is. Okay, so here's a common mistake. I'll have students play with the text and they'll do something like this. This arrow right here moves, moves things up and down, right? Now, if you're not aware, if, you're, if you haven't practiced this in a while or ever, you think, oh, great. It's gonna look perfect after I you know, fix everything. But what, they, what most students don't understand is now you're gonna print here first and then the top layer, and that's not what you want. You want this to be completely flat because the bed that you print on is going to be flat. So I'm gonna hit Control Z to move back. So this is completely flat. This is the underside of this whole thing. And if you look closely, you'll see that it's, it's not sticking out at all. In fact, when you see that kind of mixture of the two colors, it means that they are aligned. Okay, so I am finished with this. Now I selected everything again, clicked and drag. Now I'm going to hit the group button. It's going to change to one color. And there it is. When it prints, it'll look like this, of course, depending on which color I choose. But now, if I wanted to share this with a friend of mine, I would hit the Send To button. Now, you have options here. You can send it to these places that are willing to, uh, to print it for you for a price. Or you can in invite through email. Uh, friends and say hey here play with this or make a copy for yourself and they'll give you a right there it says first time sharing design here's a link you can copy the link and now you can send it to them so you can send them the link and they'll if they have uh, access to Tinkercad which is free so they can uh, when they click on the link it will take them to your uh, project here, nameplate. So let's to review. You can edit the grid from inches to millimeters to bricks. I'm not going to talk about bricks today. I prefer millimeters. I don't know why, but I am used to it. And here's <clears throat> your limitations in terms of uh, where you can print. That those are actually the the edges up here. And snap grid, meaning if you're going to move something, is it going to move to the next millimeter, the next five millimeters? Let's let me show you what that looks like. See how it's kind of boxy when it moves. I want to undo that. And what else did we learn today? When you export, you have some options. I prefer STL because it's a lot less work for my students. But you can click on either one or any of these because. You're, depending on which program you're using, um, most 3D printers can handle these, but make sure you, you know which 3D printer uh, you're using, that way you'll know which one of these um, you'll require to, to print something. Again, I prefer these, although my 3D printer can handle these as well. Uh, let's see, 3D print. Again, you can send it somewhere to get it printed, but we're not gonna do that here. And that is the end of this particular lesson. Hopefully you remember these things. Otherwise, just watch the video again. And if you want to see what, to, what I'm going to do next, go ahead and hit subscribe in the comments. If you want me to make something in particular, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know. I'm just going to be uh, showing you how, how the students make different things that I've seen. And then I'm going to give you some hints as to how to make it just a little bit faster, maybe a little bit better. All right. Thank you and enjoy.